Hey guys, and welcome to this week's uh, Bible study with JSAW. Uh, we're doing a series on testimonies, which is based on 1 Peter 3.15, which says, Always be prepared to give an answer to anyone who asks for the hope that you have in Christ Jesus. So today we have Adam Hodson. Adam is willing to uh, share a little bit of his story. So Adam, why don't you tell us uh, what Christ has done in your life? Um, well, I started to get bad when I was around three. Uh, my parents have been split since then, and I used to have to switch off houses every day, which was really like a lot, especially for me as a little kid. So recently we started switching off every week, which has been a lot more helpful. Um, but about a year or two ago, I got into an argument with my dad about grades, and it got pretty bad. Um, so I started coping in unhealthy ways like self-harming and I was smoking weed to just feel happy again. And then one day my friend Logan introduced me to help board shop and I went with him to Bible study one day and I saw what they had and it was like a family and I really wanted to be a part of that. And that atmosphere was just giving off such good and positive vibes that I was like, yeah, I need this in my life. So I started skating consistently and started going to Bible study every Wednesday. And... <laughs> God, that's fine, that's fine. Um, so you say you, you started skating, you started coming to Bible study. When did you, like notice that like Christ was the thing fueling these guys um in around December of 2019 is when I really started to pick up following Christ mm -hmm. and just being around people that had positive outlooks and seeing other people following Christ um it's kind of inspired me to go along with them and being a lot more positive mindset about life and becoming sober from self-harm and weed so now that now that christ has changed your life since that that moment what has happened since then that you can like look at as like reassurance of your faith since then i've like i said i've stopped smoking weed um my grades have gotten better since last year um, I'm way healthier than I was. I used to weigh around 150 last year, and now I weigh 133, I think the last time I weighed myself. And, yeah. Awesome. Cool. Well, a verse to go along with that this week is uh, Matthew 7, 15 through 20, which says, Watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ferocious wolves. By their fruit you will recognize them. Do not pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles. Likewise, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot produce good fruit, or a good tree cannot produce bad fruit, and a bad tree cannot produce good fruit. Every tree that does not produce good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus you will recognize by their fruit. And the reason this kind of goes along with what Adam was saying is when he was chasing after uh, his uh, friends or whatever, they were bringing him into areas where the bad fruit was present, and you could just see it in his life. It immediately took over him and others. But as soon as he started coming to Bible study and he found Christ to be his answer, he started to bear good fruit and see the, the growth of good fruit in his life. So that's why we think uh, this verse fits well with his story. Thanks very much for tuning in. We'll uh, see you next week.